Well, as the number of bacterial infections increase, the antibiotics that we may need to fight them have become harder to find. And Fox's Joy Addison is joining us live tonight with more on the nationwide drug shortage. Joy. Hi, Caroline and Jonathan. Several antibiotics are in short supply, but the hardest to find is one of the most commonly used. And drug manufacturers expected the shortage to end months ago, but some antibiotics are still in short supply. Amoxicillin is used to treat bacteria. Doctors prescribe the medication to fight ear infections, strep throat, and skin infections. This antibiotic shortage has been made worse by the recent surge in bacterial infections. With the recent shortage of amoxicillin, it's been really, really stressful for a lot of parents um, and caregivers who are trying to get access to this medication. The American Society of Health System Pharmacists says the number of amoxicillin products on back order has increased since the shortage began in November. The recommended backup treatment is also in short supply, and because amoxicillin is one of the cheapest antibiotics to make, substitutions can be costly. Children have suffered most during this shortage because the version of amoxicillin that comes in a liquid form has the lowest supply. This issue was originally expected to be resolved by the end of 2022, but many manufacturers have continued to extend this date. Manufacturers in particular said it might be mid-February, which we're here now. Um, and so uh, we're kind of just still waiting until we can bounce back and have the amoxicillin suspension back on the shelves. Most drug makers say they cannot estimate a resupply date, and the FDA says the shortage could continue for months. In Houston, Joy Addison, Fox 26 News.